You are about to view the process of collecting blood from an antecubital vein using a needle and syringe for patient diagnostic or monitoring purposes. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand as you would an ETS holder. Place your thumb on top, near the needle end, with your fingers underneath it. Uncap and inspect the needle for defects and discard it if flawed. Anchoring stretches the skin so the needle enters easily and with less pain and keeps the vein from rolling. Anchor by grasping the arm just below the elbow, supporting the back of it with your fingers. Place your thumb one to two inches below and slightly beside the vein and pull the skin toward the wrist. Warn the patient. Line the needle up with the vein and insert it into the skin using a smooth forward motion. Stop when you feel a decrease in resistance, often described as a pop, and press your fingers into the arm to anchor the syringe. The establishment of blood flow is normally indicated by blood in the hub of the syringe. In some cases, blood will not flow until the syringe plunger is pulled back. Releasing the tourniquet and opening the fist allows blood flow to return to normal and helps prevent hemoconcentration. According to CLSI standard H3A5, the tourniquet should be released as soon as possible after blood begins to flow and should not be left on longer than one minute. Venous blood will not automatically flow into a syringe. It must be filled by slowly pulling back on the plunger with your free hand. Steady the syringe as you would an ETS holder during routine venipuncture. Place a clean folded gauze square over the site so pressure can be applied immediately after needle removal. Remove the needle in one smooth motion without lifting up or pressing down on it. Immediately apply pressure to the site with your free hand while simultaneously activating the needle safety device with the other to prevent the chance of a needle stick. The needle must be removed and discarded in the sharps container so that a transfer device for filling the tubes can be attached to the syringe.